In, in, in a similar vein, Dana Milbank wrote this the other day. He said, in the United States in the year 2021, you, as an American citizen, do not necessarily have the right to vote. You do not necessarily have the right to teach or to learn about matters of race or gender or anything else that Christian fascist state lawmakers consider Divisive concepts. Divisive concepts. Here's the situation with the blessings of the, the, the Roberts Supreme Court. Legislatures in these states that are run by the Christian fascists are rushing to impose new voting restrictions, particularly on non-white voters. And like I mentioned a couple of times, 17 states now have enacted, not considering, they have enacted 28 two, uh, new laws restricting the ability to vote since the start of this year. And at the same time, 10 states have enacted and 26 other states are considering restrictions on classroom discussions of racism, sexism, homophobia, that's according to a count made by Education Week, a website that keeps track of this insanity. Oh, my God. Now, while these Christian fascists are curtailing freedoms for some people, they're simultaneously extending civil rights and legal rights to a previously unprotected class in this country, and that is the anti-vax maniacs. A count by uh, Blackwell Law Firm lists at least 17 states run by Christian fascists that have enacted laws protecting the rights of those who refuse coronavirus vaccines with more such laws in the process. Uh, what is this? Mass insanity, isn't it? Milbank says if there's a philosophy behind this selective approach, it's this. Rights for me, but not for thee. The red states are protecting the liberties of their political supporters and everybody else can fuck off. If you get sick and die, tough. A Texas Democrat um, said of the so-called selective approach to liberty in the red states, the Texas Democrat, Representative Lloyd Doggett, said, quote, these are Republicans who believe in the right to infect as a fundamental right, end quote. The right to infect, to make sick, to kill. What has happened to the minds of these Christians? They have become, using their religious bullshit, they have become demons. And they're loose in the general population in this country. Someone who right now proclaims himself or herself to be a Christian is somebody to avoid as much as possible with a few notable exceptions. Oh, my God. Well, Texas Republicans, the Christian fascists in that state, have, have been at the forefront of this nationwide effort to grant all kinds of, freedom to, of freedoms to the sick sewer of their political allies while 
curtailing freedoms for other people. And in addition to its voter suppression effort in Texas, that state also enacted a law prescribing in detail how teachers may discuss race. Slavery and racism in Texas may not be portrayed as, quote, anything other than deviations from, betrayals of, or failures to live up to the authentic founding principles of the United States, which include liberty and equality, end quote. And no credit may be given for internships, quote, involving social or public policy advocacy. Get rid of the sociologists. Get rid of the people advocating equal protection under law. So slavery and racism, while they were incorporated into our documents, are not being allowed to be taught that way in Texas. To the contrary, slavery and racism in Texas now, if it's taught at all, must be taught as a deviation from the Constitution, even though the majority of the people who wrote the Constitution were slave owners and knew full well what they were doing. Good God. Now, contrast that with the highly restricted or the highly detailed restrictions with the sweeping freedoms granted to vaccine refusers. The sitting governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, issued an order suspending part of the Texas health code so that, quote, no government entity can compel any individual to receive COVID-19 vaccine, end quote. I just told you about Tennessee. This is Texas. And a law enacted last month in Texas says that, quote, a business in this state may not require a customer to provide any documentation whatsoever certifying that customer's COVID-19 vaccination in order to receive services, end quote. And this bullshit holds throughout the country, this pattern of Christian fascist madness. Republican-run red states are racing to restrict voting by mail-in. They're, they're, they're trying to restrict in-person voting hours and locations and implement these voter purges and voter ID requirements. And these new education edicts by these Christian fascists propose a modern equivalent of book banning in order to mitigate the horrifying threat of teaching critical race theory. Oh, my God. Montana has declared that students may not be, quote, forced to reflect, deconstruct, or confront their racial identities, end quote. Ohio is one of several states considering laws directing that, quote, no school district shall teach, instruct, or train any divisive concepts, end quote. Arizona, if Arizona teachers don't obey this bullshit, they can be fined. And the, well, they can be fired. The school districts can be fined. So what this is saying is that teachers now cannot, cannot teach about the racial identity and how those race identities have been so misused in the course of this country. You can't teach it anymore. Because you would be forcing school children to confront their own racial identity, 
white kids to confront what the white race did, black kids to understand the same idea. We're not going to have that. But the right to catch and spread COVID-19, that right will not be infringed. Over at Axios, one of the writers wrote on Monday that Republican state legislators would, quote, give unvaccinated people the same protections as those surrounding race, gender, and religion, end quote. In Montana, for example, a law requires that restaurants and other public accommodations must admit the unvaccinated. One law professor called that law in Montana a, quote, civil rights statute akin to banning discrimination against the Irish, for example. Now, civil rights, as we knew them at one time before these Christian maniacs got a hold of this, Civil rights prohibited discrimination on the basis of race, color, religion, sex, national origin. And now the Christian fascists are trashing those rights in favor of a new protected class. And it's all based on their political views. And if those political views say unvaccinated good, vaccinated bad then the unvaccinated become a new protected class. Their civil rights, no matter how much death and disease they spew in their trail as they move through our lives, their civil rights shall not be infringed. You can go any place you want, you unvaccinated son of a bitches. You can cough, spit, hack, blow, anything you want to do. And if the American people don't like it, tough shit. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts. So you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.